What's going on, fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have the Nike Phantom GX Elite in the DF model, the high cut, and I'm very excited to unbox these and get a initial play test for you guys, an initial fit and feel of what they're like, if there's any differences between these and the low top. We'll discuss everything. If you guys are interested in boots that are either brand new or slightly used, you can head down to my website. I am selling a lot of my collection just because I don't have room for them as I move around to my next pro club and so if you guys are interested first link in the description will be my uh, my website. So without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing. So thank you so much to Boots Plug on Instagram. You guys can see their uh, tag on this side right here. There you go. So it's at boots.plug or Boots full stop plug, depending on uh, what country you're from. These are the Phantom GX Elite DF FG, as I mentioned before. So managed to get these in the Baltic blue and pink blast and white colorway. This is the 9 US. 10.5 in women's, so UK 8 for men's as well. So pretty standard Nike box here, uh, silver, really, really, really standard. So nothing really to write home about as far as the box goes, um, but here we go, get a look. There you go, so this is uh, Boots Plug logo. Really cool, thanks for shopping with us. Uh, share your unboxing and tag at Boots Plug to get featured super fun. So thank you again to Boots Plug for getting me these boots. And I know they're really, really hard to find in the FG, especially in this blue colorway. So I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. All right. So unboxing, here we go. Oh my days. <laughs> yes. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the DF model in FG of this absolutely stunning Baltic blue, pink blast and black colorway. Oh my gosh, this ghost laces. We'll talk about all these tech specs in just a second, but just take a second to admire how absolutely stunning these boots are. Okay, really quick, uh, unpopular opinion. I think the ghost laces and this high top model, even though I tend to be a low cut type person, I think these might look, to me, personal preference, these might look better to me than the low top. I know it's not about looks and I'd rather wear a, a low top boot for the most part, but this high top boot looks incredible in my opinion. Super low profile, so, so, so cool. So, all right, so here we go. Get the other one out as well. So there's what that one looks like. And by the way, it's the exact same as the right one. Who would know? So fun, okay. Get these out. This is the same string bag that you get in the AG model as well. So it says Phantom GX here in that pink blast colorway. And then you've got that thumbprint pattern in blue, uh, in, which basically represent the high tenacity yarns up in this grip. Knit. So very cool. Uh, I actually really like the string bag. I think they're super cool. I love the, this blue color is so similar to my brand blue. Uh, if not, it's almost the exact same actually, uh, which is why Part of the reason I love this color so much, like that's why I picked the blue color, super, super cool. All right, so that is it for the box. Um, nothing different than the normal FG low top model, like these aren't special edition or anything like that, um, but they are obviously very difficult to come by. So that is this beautiful, beautiful pair of football boots. Um, I'm gonna take this stuff out really quick, this cardboard and all that, cause I just wanna make sure uh, to show you guys what the softness of this boot looks like. For those of you who are coming to my channel for the first time, first of all, welcome. Uh, second of all, I have reviewed a couple of these models before. So if you haven't seen those videos, you can go check them out. But I wanna make sure that I cover all the tech specs in this video, just so you guys know um, if you are new and you haven't seen these boots before. So unbelievably, unbelievably soft upper uh, made from a base fly knit. So this is the typical fly knit. Again, we'll talk about the ghost laces in a second, um, but without the ghost laces, it is a fly knit base, fly knit collar, uh, fly knit here in all of the white areas around the boot. So you'll see a lot of this upper is made from this white material. And then starting here, all of the blue is all a material, which is Nike's new grip knit technology, which is basically pre-coated yarns that have this really almost 
waxy sensation to them. They are really, really incredible. Um, I am somebody who absolutely has loved playing in this grip knit. I think it is a game changer for Nike because it allows you to have enough grip on the ball where when you're striking here in this area or you're touching the ball on the outside, it's not too much grip in dry conditions, something like a, a regular FG grass pitch that's a little bit sticky. You're not gonna get too much grip on the ball, but in that, in those wet conditions, you're really going to be able to get a nice, uh, easy touch on the ball that's going to give you enough control where you can manipulate the ball in really any way you would without any slippage. And that's one of the things that I think they've really nailed with this upper. For me, it's a very, very cool boot because of that technology and having played in super rainy weather and down in California on a grass pitch with uh, the low top model of these in FG. They are absolutely sensational as far as grip goes. It's like just the perfect amount and that waxy sensation really is just a nice feel on the ball. It's not nothing like a Predator. It's nothing like, you know, a crazy amount of grip, but it's just right in my opinion. Um, the thing that makes this obviously different from the low cut model is number one, this DF collar, which as far as I can tell is literally just a piece of uh, material that goes along the upper in a very interesting shape. There's this like weird thing that goes kind of asymmetrically off to the side, to the lateral side, and then you've got this little tab up here on the front, which is actually not too dissimilar from the little tab that is on the low cut model, but obviously it's down here. Then the other thing that they've added to this is the lacing system construction, which as you can see, hopefully you can see this, there is, instead of it being tied into the upper, there are these little, these little ribbon looking things that basically come out of this material here and attach to the lacing system on either side. So you do have laces, right? This is called the ghost lacing system. Um, as you can see there, hopefully that logo shows up. There you go, ghost laces. Um, so there is laces right here, and then you tie them tight and it'll pull all the way through from the bottom of the lacing system, which similar to the low cut model is down in this area. So right, ab right above where the Nike swoosh ends here, that's where that lacing system starts. It goes all the way up and you'll still get a really good amount of lockdown, um, I would assume, in these potentially even more lockdown given that there is a collar that sort of locks that heel area in and then the ghost laces, which at might add a little bit more structure. But again, I say might, uh, simply because I haven't actually tried these on yet. So I'm really excited to see what they fit and feel like on feet because I do think they look absolutely sensational on TV and stuff when I've seen people wear them, um, like De Bruyne and some of the other players who have rocked the high cut collar of this. The FG Soul Plate is a huge step up in my opinion from the GT2 that it replaces. This is an FG Soul Plate with a, conical a combination of conical studs. You've got some uh, bladed and chevron studs. I guess they're, I guess they're completely chevron. And then these three or five, I guess two here and three in the forefoot. These star sh shaped studs that, excuse me, uh, that really replicate the Vapor 15 Elite and Superfly 9. It's a little bit less aggressive than those studs on the Vapor 15 and Superfly 9, but a lot. But that being said, they are very similar in shape. So that's something that you want to keep in mind as well. Um, so really good balance, in my opinion. This will play uh, for both grass pitches on FG, and then I've worn this pitch or the low top of this boot on lots of AG pitches as well. It's if you're somebody who's worried about the grip on the ball and you're worried about a sole plate that's going to really give you amount of bite but also not be risky, I would go for the AG model of this, which is absolutely sensational. I love those boots. If you are somebody who wants the most aggressive feeling that you can get from the GT Silo, other than obviously soft ground, which you really don't want to wear on AG pitches, I think this is totally suitable for an AG pitch as well. I've worn them. I've been totally safe. Uh, I've worn these on FG and AG and have been absolutely fine in both types of conditions. So I would honestly say it's a personal preference. I've been telling people, hey, just go with what your gut says. If you need AG, go AG. If you need FG, go FG. It really isn't going to be that big of a difference because the stud pattern on the AG model, if you guys haven't seen my review, go check that one out. Um, but the sole plate and stud pattern is the exact same, except 
all of these stud patterns, so all of the studs that aren't conical here, 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 are all conical. And then instead of this little chevron stud in the middle, you've got tiny three little conical studs in the middle. So it's really super similar to this sole plate. And so I think, again, you're, it's really sort of a toss up what you wanna do. There's really not much else. Oh, the heel area. Let's talk about the heel area just really quick. So one of the things that uh, a lot of people have talked about is the free feeling sensation that you get in this boot. Not only do you have right a super, super soft plush upper, um, this grip knit really does a good job of locking you in, but also making you feel like it's got a pretty free sensation. Um, really good lateral lockdown in my opinion. Uh, some people have complained a little bit about slippage in the heel. I haven't had any issues so far, and I don't think the boots are too loose on my heel, but that's just my own personal opinion. I am curious to know how these will fit with the addition of this DF collar. So with that DF collar, I'd assume that it'd be about the same, although, perhaps you'd get a little bit more lockdown in the heel area with this extra piece of material that sort of wraps around your ankle and sort of locks you into that boot. So as soon as you get your foot in, you lock your foot in and then this sort of wraps around and locks you towards uh, into the bottom of the shoe, if that makes sense. But the one thing that people were kind of complaining about is if you can see, they basically removed. So if you can follow the shape of my, where are my fingers going? So the internal heel counter goes like this and then completely drops off in the back and then comes back on the lateral side. So it's basically a cup here and a cup here. And as you can see, I can poke and you can see how much give there is in that heel area. What they tried to do is give you the most free sensation possible. And with a lot of, I don't know if you remember, a long time ago, there were some players in Vapor 11 that used to cut squares in the back of their heel area. That was to prevent, that was basically the same idea, right? The heel was so tight and so structured that it didn't allow for any give and any lockdown essentially, or any adjustability in the lockdown. And so what this did, is this basically negates all of that. So regardless of what heel shape you are, you should be able to fit in these, save for maybe somebody who has a super thin heel. I have pretty thin heels, and then a wide midfoot and a wide toe box. These fit perfectly true to size. Um, but again, if you had super thin heels, I don't know if you'd fit in these. You might have a little bit of heel slippage, um, but for the most part, most people are gonna be totally fine in these boots, no problem. So I am, absolutely stoked to try these on feet. So without further ado, let's jump into the on feet portion of the video and we'll talk about differences in these compared to the low cut. Which one should you buy? Are there benefits to buying one over the other, especially given how much of a hot commodity they are right now and how hard they are to find? Uh, if you can find the low tops, do you go low tops? Or if you just can find the high tops, is it worth just going with the high tops, even if you're a low top type of person? So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, I'm out here at the pitch with the DF model of the Phantom GX Elite. I am really stoked to try these on because uh, I have heard some really, really good things about the DF model, especially in terms of lockdown and maybe the little extra lockdown this boot might give me over the low top, even though I'll probably end up wearing the low top long term. But without further ado, let's just get into uh, the on feet portion. So absolutely beautiful football boot. As you guys know, this is the FG version. Um, same boot, obviously, that was in the previous portion of this video. So exciting how that happens. Um, so the way this lacing system works is a little bit different. Uh, so my guess is it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get on, but that's okay. I'm not wearing any grip socks today per usual per the video, just because um, I don't want to kind of give any advice or fit and feel that's that's inaccurate basically, because we know that grip socks are just gonna give you an extra little bit of grip as opposed to um, change the way they fit. So, all right, here we go. So just getting it on, it is definitely a lot more difficult. It's also super cold out here today, so um, it is a little bit more difficult. So excuse me if it takes half a second longer to jam my foot in here. Let me get this other one off and we'll try to wiggle all the way in. Obviously with the lacing system being under that ghost lacing cover, um, they are they probably aren't gonna be able to. Oh, there we go, okay, with significant effort. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Wow, okay, so there you go. 
Um, initial impressions is they don't feel that much different than the low top, in my opinion. They might be as I start moving around and as I tie the laces tight, but here, why don't I do this? I'll tuck my, uh, there you go. So you can kind of see the whole silhouette. So as I tie the laces to here, I can feel each one of those lace rungs really pulling tight, which is a super nice sensation, I think. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll try to kind of fold this down. There we go. Get the laces tied up. We're just going to do a single knot today because I don't feel like doing a double knot because it's my fingers are freezing. Um, and then we'll shove them in there. And then it basically gives you a really clean striking surface. Um, I really like the way these look. As I said before, I think these look really spectacular on feet. Um, we'll see how we go. I'd probably have to look in post-production once I start editing this particular video if I like these better on feet on myself. Um, but they are really, really cool. They're super comfortable. You guys know the Phantom GX is one of my favorite boots on the market right now. Um, for one obvious reason is that I love the way it fits my foot. So it's super, super nice for wider foot types. Definitely suitable for most people on the market. And that's what I love about this boot. Um, the other thing is just because it reminds me a lot of Hypervenom Phantom 3. So Hypervenom Phantom 3 was and is and continues to be my favorite boot of all time um, for nostalgic reasons, yes, emotional reasons, yes, um, but also because it's one of the only boots on the market that I can slip into similar to the Phantom Ultra and now the Phantom GX I've discovered um, with zero break-in time. So for me, those are the only three boots and actually Copa Pure is in that list now as well. Um, now that I've actually played in it a bunch, you guys will see hopefully some more content about, oh, those boots, okay, these are definitely a lot more difficult to get on, but once you can kind of get your foot halfway in there, there you go. So that's, that's with the socks and everything. Um, okay, but yeah, so as I was saying, Copa Pure actually falls in that list now as well. So that's something to keep in mind. I think those are super nice, super pliable, really soft leather, definitely more comfortable out of the box to me than Tiempo. Um, but yeah, so GX falls into that category. I absolutely love them. They give you a really nice free flowing sensation on feet. And for me, that's a super important thing as a player who enjoys being creative and enjoys manipulating the ball as much as I can in training sessions and stuff and in games. So that's what they look like on feet. I think these are super comfortable straight out of the box. Um, as far as fit is concerned, I would say they, so they run true to size per use. There's about here, so my the end of my toe comes up to there, so there's maybe a half thumbs width, really, really small amount of space, but as I mentioned in my one month review, that space actually goes away once I start once I start wearing them in. So no issues there as far as um, break in and sort of the, the aftermath of breaking these boots in. But compared to the low top model, what I'm noticing is there's definitely, here you go, that's the full, the full kit now. Um, what I'm noticing compared to the low top model is there's actually, I can, I can definitely feel like, at, at least in my opinion, this might be just an out of the box thing. And as you break them in, they'll, this feeling will go away, but I'm definitely feeling like my heel is more secure in the heel area right away, as opposed to the low top model. The low top model takes me like I'd say probably half an hour to sort of break in to the point, and it doesn't hurt. I'm not saying there's hot spots or anything, but to the point where my heel feels super nice and secure in that in that heel area. Whereas with these, because of the way that the ghost laces and the the higher cut collar kind of kind of force your foot down into the boot, I think these fit. They feel like they have a little bit more security in the heel area straight out of the box. Um, I've had no issues now playing for months now with my low top model. I've had no issues with those. So who knows over time if it'll make any sort of difference in the long run, um, but that's just what I'm noticing from a perspective. Uh, touch on the ball on the GX is sensational. Um, I really don't notice a difference as far as touch goes between these and the low top model. Um, the only perhaps the only difference being uh, that there's a lace cover, but I, 
frankly, I don't notice the difference between a laceless boot and a laced boot because um, I don't, I, I double knot my, my shoes, but there's never like a weird lump or anything on the top. And especially with something like this, where you have the ghost lacing system that covers those laces, yes, you get a seamless feel, um, but the laces are up here and tied up here on the low top anyway as well. And so there's really no distractions in this forefoot area or top of the boot or even side or lateral. Um, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. So I think at the end of the day, it's, it's going to come down to a few things depending on what you want to wear. I definitely would wear these in training and in games. Um, yes, I'm not a high top boot type of person. I just, I don't know, I think they're kind of pointless. Um, but I never wore the Phantom Vision and that's something that uh, with that ghosting, ghost lacing system on the Phantom Vision, I didn't have any experience about, oh, did it give you a little more locked in sensation in the heel? I would say that these feel really excellent in that heel area and they feel so good out of the box. And I would almost say that these feel a little bit more secure straight out of the box. And we're talking like 0.0001%. Like most people aren't gonna notice the difference in these, um, but I definitely can feel a little bit of a difference in the, the lockdown of the heel uh, straight away compared to the low top model. Um, but again, remains to be said with one month review and everything, if that's actually gonna be true over the long term, because mine break in really well. Anything else you should know about the DF model? They're more expensive, so if you're if you want a high-end elite model of the GX and you're on a budget, go for the low top. It's the same boot, same heel construction, same everything. Um, you just don't get the extra little material on the top here plus the ghost lacing system. That's literally the only difference. I'm trying to think of other things that you might want to know before you kind of decide whether you want these or even a different model. The high cuts maybe compete with Predator Accuracy Pluses, like the high top, high top model. Um, but I would say these are almost in a league of their own as far as comfort, feel, and grip on the ball. The New Balance Tequila version fours are a great option for a high collar boot if you want a laceless sensation. That's, in my opinion, that's my favorite laceless boot on the market just because of how amazing and sensational the lockdown is, despite it being a laceless boot. Um, but if you want a laced option that's got a lace cover, this is kind of your only option, and it's a freaking good option too. I love these boots. You guys know these are some of my favorites on the market, and I would definitely recommend um, going true to size, getting whichever ones you can get your hands on, because both the low tops and the high tops, in my opinion, are really exceptional straight out of the box. Um, and I'm having no hot spots anywhere per usual with the GX, but I should say that is Okay, I didn't need that anyway. Um, I should say that that is definitely uh, a really exciting thing from a, a DF model standpoint that I really don't feel any sort of hot spots or any sort of um, feelings of, ooh, I need to get out of these boots right now type vibe. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys do want more content on the DF model, I will be doing, uh, I plan to do a training session video for sure. And then of course a one month review as I wear them and as I really enjoy them. Um, I tend to wear the GX Hypervenom and Phantom Ultra. Those are kind of my three top grail boots right now that I rotate between for like pro training sessions and pro games. Um, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to you uh, which one you want to you want to get um and of course you guys can see more content coming soon so if you guys like that video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always be awesome take care i'll see you guys in the next video